Hey, what's up everybody? Here's another water comparison video. Tonight we're comparing these two waters. First up is Radanska Classic Sparkling Mineral Water. Next up is Schweppes Original Sparkling Water Beverage. And what these two both have in common is they're both sparkling waters, of course, and they're also both pretty old waters. Schweppes, on their website, they claim to be the original soft drink. That's kind of debatable, but that's what they say on their website. But they say that they were introduced in 1783. That's a really long time ago. It might be one of the oldest water companies I've ever tried. Maybe. I don't know. Redenska. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It's a water from Slovenia. Slovenia. And it's um, it says it's one of their oldest brands. And it says it was started in 18... 69 and um, it's in this glass bottle it's got a metallic lid on it this bottle I got it from Walmart it was only 98 cents which that might be the cheapest glass bottle of water I've ever had you know when you buy glass water it's usually a couple bucks and this is small but it's still you know only 98 cents so let's just open these up and do a taste test. Start with Radanska. It's sparkling, so I hope it doesn't explode all over the place. Hmm. That's weird. <laughs> like no bubbles at all, actually. Okay, here we go. Yeah, very mild. For a sparkling water, that's not that sparkling at all. I mean, it, there's a little bit there, but not a lot. Um, the bottle says it can be mixed with drinks or juices or just drunk on its own. An interesting thing is it says, like, expires, and then it doesn't say an expiration date. They put the expiration date on the, on the lid. But it's just weird that it would have expired by and then not put it there okay Schweppes this is owned by the Dr. Pepper 7-Up company I've had Schweppes ginger ale like this is I see this brand all over the place you know lots of stores and I, I've tried their ginger ale but I've never tried their sparkling water and from my understanding this is basically their ginger ale ginger ale but without the sugar good. This one bubbled up, but it didn't explode all over the place like some sparkling waters do. Hmm. It's not bad. It's also, this is also like a more mild one. The, some of the sparkling waters like literally explode all over the place. Go all over my desk and everything. And those ones kind of burn your throat when they go down because they have so many bubbles in them. This one is a lot more mild. The ginger ale is good. This says it has five milligrams of sodium. They also sell this in cans and they have a flavored version of their sparkling water in cans. But it's so stupid though. Once you have a sparkling water and you add flavor to it, is it really water anymore? Like, I'm probably only going to review this non-flavored version of this water. Their logo is some fountain. I read about it, like, they had some event where there was just some fountain full of their water, and, um, they had a picture of it, and that's what the logo is based on, just that fountain. This says it has 93 milligrams of sodium, and it says it has calcium and magnesium. But it says it has 0, 0,10 milligrams of fluoride. I'm not sure if that's a typo, or if that's just the European way of 
doing the nutritional info because one comma one zero milligrams would just be 10 milligrams but i wonder if the comma in europe means 0 0.10 milligrams because it's a you know it's a big difference Not much else to say about these. Let me just finish them up and pick a winner. <sighs> okay. I'm just going to say that the winner, this is my personal preference, of course. The winner is the Rodanska. Mostly just because it has a more mild sparkling flavor to it. And to me, that seems like it's more like water. More like regular water to me. If you prefer a slightly stronger sparkling flavor, you might prefer Schweppes. But in my opinion, uh, I'm going with this one. So congratulations, Radanska. You're moving on to the next round.